the night i put a 9 mm to my head was by far the most surreal moment of my life they pushed me you know there i stood anticipating death when i was suddenly stricken by the thought that would ultimately define my cause the thought of kill them instead kill them instead Oh damn Hi, I've seen you around campus. My class is right across yours. I'm heading to school now. I'll be happy to give you a lift. I'm not sure that's such a good idea. Okay, fair enough. Look, I got an introduction to business class with Mr. Larry. Yeah, the influence is a bit eccentric, isn't he? So, what do you see? Will you accept my sincere offer? Last chance. Wait. You know, My mom told me never to do this. I'm Jacob by the way. Verona. So how long have you been in CS? Not long. Mm, first year. Huh. I'm actually in my third. Really? You know, I don't recall ever seeing you on campus. Yeah, I'm, I'm usually around but I take the night classes. Business student. Yeah, entrepreneurship. Are you from around here? Yep. Nice. I'm a local as well.
Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Good. Uh, we need to make one last stop. Um, my sister, she's disabled, and we need to go and check on her. Is that okay? Sure. Jacob, are you okay? Fool never saw it coming. What are the odds? Two serial killers inadvertently targeting each other. Hmm. <laughs> it's just all twisted, isn't it? Hey Jacob, it's me, Mike. Dude, you rocked that audition, brother. You got me believing you're a serial killer. I gotta tell ya. Hey, before I forget, I left my black prop bag in your car. The knife is actually real, so be careful. The blood's not, right? Well, when you get this message, give me a call. I want to run through some ideas with you and get your opinion. Talk to you soon.